All right, guys, we had to do it. We're in Palm Springs to vacay, but of course, our vacation is looking at cars. I know it's rather pathetic, but here we are. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. So guys, is this the uh, enough Bentleys and Rolls's for you? Just a giant row of Rolls Royces and Bentleys. It's absolutely crazy. We're here at Desert European. We had to stop by. I mean, we couldn't resist. We're supposed to be on vacation now. Just chilling by the pool, but we're chilling next to Rolls Royces instead. Honestly, I don't mind. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. They have the new facelifted Mulsanne inside the Bentley dealer. Uh, let's check it out and walk around. It looks pretty cool to me, the new facelift. Uh, it looks a little sharper, a little more modern, but let's see what it looks like in the flesh. Guys, we are at Aston Martin and we see something pretty cool here. A DB11. I haven't really, well I've seen one in the flesh, I saw one at the debut, but it's, I don't know what it's really doing here. It's not really in the dealership and I think it's maybe being moved or transported. But it's pretty cool seeing this. Really uh, interesting color in the red with the black two-tone. Finally back in the i8 from Palm Springs. A wonderful weekend, but I'm tired from driving. Uh, the traffic was rather miserable, but uh, my two cents on the two major cars we saw at the dealership today, the Mulsanne, obviously the new facelift, I thought it looked great. I thought the it's very venti now. There's a lot of uh, grills and everything and, and chrome and everything around it. Uh, it just seems bigger, honestly. And I think that's good because it's going to be, it's going to look like more of a contender for the Phantom or Ghost, Rolls Royce, whatever it may be. And before, I don't think it did. I think it was a cool car before, but I don't think it quite did. DB11 on my naughty list because I just, I don't know, I think the design's a bit desperate. I think Aston Martin's lost themselves a bit. I think we have a very aggressive market today with Lamborghini, uh, Ferrari, and the designs and the speed is such a big thing. And we have such an excessive culture now, everyone gets a Turbo S, not a Turbo, that uh, the Aston Martin's showing. It's not as elegant and subtle anymore, and I think that's disappointing. So that's my two cents. You could disagree or not, but don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and stay tuned for more. Thanks.